Hello YouTubers and welcome to yet another Master of Puppets Alco review. Today with the first guest on this series, which is... Pim. Lina. <laughs> yeah. Or Lina. Yeah, something like that. Someone called you Lina. But today guys, we're doing something very special. Or very different at least. Uh, for this, because we're going to be tasting five different spirits of one type. So, this uh, box here you have here is the box of spirits, spirits, and as the title indicates, it's from Flaviar. And this is their uh, Here Be Pirates Yo Ho Ho box, rum box. So, you're probably wondering, what is Flaviar? Well, if you've heard of Loot Crate, what, have you heard of Loot Crate? Uh, yeah, I... it's kind of a similar idea, idea just with booze and but spirits. Loot Crate, that's let's say spirit. Yeah, yeah. Booze and Loot Crate is basically a lot of cheap stuff. Oh, okay, well, this is more <laughs> high end, but uh, this is the idea is the same thing. So, the thing is with Flavor, this is a website that you can go on to, and on this website, you can either just get a free membership or a prime membership. And with the prime membership, well, with the free membership, you get some, uh, the ability to buy tasting flights like this one, and you get uh, the ability to buy bottles and whatnot. And they have a great selection on there, lots of different types of spirits. And uh, yeah, then they have the premium or the prime version, which is kind of the cool deal that makes it similar to some of these subscription services. Because it's a subscription-based service. You pay a monthly fee of 15 dollars from the first month and then it's going to be, I, think, I can't remember what it was, would rise for dollars, euros, 15 euros the first month and then it's or 15.99 and then it rises uh, the month after which is like 21.99 but then every month you're going to get a box like this with spirits to taste so every month you're going to get a box of new spirits and we have the first set here from the rum box where we have five different samplers of rums so that's really cool. And with this Prime membership as well, you don't only get the spirits monthly, you also get free shipping when you want to purchase uh, a full bottle on their website. Maybe you've tried one of the spirits you really liked into the sample pack, and then you want to buy a full bottle for your bar, then you get free shipping. And uh, yeah, I guess that's about it. You also get discounts on the tasting box and sometimes also bottles and stuff. So a kind of a cool way to learn about new spirits. And then every month is different. So. Uh, that's the whole deal with it. They are trying to teach people about spirits and how to taste them. So like when you get your box, you get uh, a little card about flavor, the world of spirits, and you get uh, instructions on how to taste spirits and descriptions of, this is the rum pack, so you get a long description here about what rum is and characteristics of rum, and then you carry on with the different rums in the tasting packs with info and tasting notes, which is really cool. And um, you can even download an app they have, a Flaviar app. And on this app, you can keep track of what you're tasting, and you can try and build your own cellar. So if you buy the stuff on their web shop, like full bottles, you can put it as added to cellar. So you can kind of control your own spirit bar and what spirits you have in your bar. And on that, they also try to teach you about tasting spirits with their uh, flavor spiral, which is a visual way of tasting spirits and a very good way for newcomers who don't really know how to detect flavors and spirits to learn about them. So, yeah, like me. Well, I mean, we've been tasting quite a few spirits together, and I thought you should be the one joining me for this one, because you <laughs> really did rum, age rums. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, and as I said, this is a rum box. So, check them out, guys. If this is something that sounds interesting to you, uh, you can hit up the link down in this description below. It will really help me out, so please check it out, guys. So, without further ado, let's try and taste some rum. Thank you. So, as you see, we got the first spirit poured of the rum pack, and um, it, they come in these glass containers here, which has, I think it's 45 milliliters, and uh, yeah, in this box you get five. So this one is the Rum de Jeremy Rum, and it's actually a tribute kind of rum, or, I don't know if it's made in collaboration with the Ron Jeremy, but it's a Ron Jeremy Rum. But it's a seven-year-old age rum. And it looks nice. I mean, it looks like you're kind of it's, it's a, a lighter aged rum, I think. Yeah, it's like um, a caramel color. Mm -hmm. So yeah, let's check it out and smell it. Uh, speaking of caramel, I'm getting lots of caramel and toffee, yeah. and there is yeah. a little bit of a vanilla and oaky component too. It's not as sharp and pungent though. It's more of a mellow aroma. I think the most dominant aroma is like caramel, almost like the uh, type of feeling you get in the chocolates, uh, the uh, skin belt chocolates. Oh yeah! Is that rum cream? Because exactly. you are getting like a vanilla note to it as well. Yeah. 
It's nice. It's a boozy kind of caramel uh, yeah. candy. Yeah. Like, soapy, but it's not yeah. the most complex rum aroma I've had. No. It's pretty nice. I mean, for I, I kind of had low expectations nice. because it's called Run, uh, Run to Jeremy. But it smells nice. Let's give it a taste. Mm. Cheers. Well, that's smooth. There's like no heat or burn, really. A little in the after taste, but that flavor of like caramel, slightly chocolatey thing really dominates. Like the chocolate or the caramel filling of a Tom's Skin It's a candy we had in Denmark, which is a chocolate covered kind of candy bar thing shaped as a turtle, skin pale in Danish is turtle. Yeah. And then the coating inside is like a caramel rum fudge thing. It's got yeah. that exact filling flavor. Exactly, yeah. So they talk about tropical fruit, right? Like they talk about melon and papaya and stuff, mm -hmm. at least on the aroma. I don't really think banana and uh, maybe, yeah, maybe a little bit of banana, maybe. And maybe more so dried fruitiness, like almost like a slight raisin in your thing. But I think it's actually more dominant on caramel toffee flavors, yeah, like dark chocolate and uh, and, and, and caramel, yeah, uh, mixed. So we moved on to the next rum, and this is the Kraken Black Spice Rum. Now, I know Kraken, I've actually had Kraken before, it's one of the Two rums in this I've had because I really enjoy spice bar spiced rums in general, and but this is a spiced rum, so it's not been aged as long as the others. It's only been aged about uh, what is this? It was like a mess of a year in oak okay. barrels, and then you use spices in it. And the main or some of the spices in this is uh, are cinnamon and ginger and clove, but much darker. You definitely see it's a black Way darker. And I remember when I've had Kraken rum, I mainly used that for like mixed drinks, cinnamon. Cinnamon for sure. <laughs> Lots of cinnamon actually. Yeah, cinnamon and toffee. It's almost got like a sweet brown sugar aroma that reminds me of Coca-Cola. Oh, it's like and vanilla. Yeah. Like uh, the Coke vanilla. Vanilla Coke. Yeah. Vanilla yeah. Coke. Yeah. They're talking <laughs> and a little bit of alcohol warmth. They're talking and then Dude, also this is totally Dr. Pepper. Kind of. Oh, it is. Kind of. <laughs> It has got a, it's an intense uh, rum, like molassesy sweet aroma. It's more of the spice and then like mm. kind of, as you said, cola like or uh, Dr Pepper like. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> cheers. Cheers. Much sweeter. Oh, and it's thick as well. Yeah, like molassesy and soup, but it the burn. Like the alcohol heat is lighter than the other like it's liquid sugar. sugar. Mm. But that's usually what you get with spice rums. They're okay. much sweeter. But again, rum is sweet. It's a byproduct of like sugar cane. <laughs> so, but this is too much though. Mm. For you? Yeah. I, I can definitely see the, the whole kind of vanilla, Coca Cola thing still, lots of caramel. Uh, but it's, it is sweet. Oh. Almost like a slight hint of dark cherry. I mean, yeah. for spice rum, it's still nice tasting. It's definitely better than something I kept in Morgan, which is shit. But yeah, I, I definitely get some uh, dark chocolate and um, a bit of coffee. Yeah, well. yeah. So we've moved on to the next rum, and this is the Dos Maderas PX5. Is this is five or yeah, five year old plus five year old rum. So this one is quite different because this is a Spanish rum, yeah. whereas the others, I think they're Caribbean. But this one is Spanish, and then they have the rum. It's made by a Spanish company that usually makes sherry, I believe. And then they age the rums in the Caribbean for five years in American oak barrels, then brought them back to Spain, and then aged them in sherry barrels for three years and two years on Pedro Ximenez barrels. So okay. 10 years in total. Oh, that's a really dark age rum. I think that's yeah. from the, the sherry barrel really shows through, because sherry is like the, the charred oak from the sherry barrel, it gives a it's, lot of It's color. about as dark as um, oh, the other one we just the had. The Kraken? A little lighter, but similar in color. Nice alcohol legs on the glass too, but let's on the aroma on this one. Oh, that smells nice. Wow, that smells really good. So much sherry, so much dry, dry vineyard sherry character. But you still get that sweet vanilla, oaky, yeah. tanniny aroma. Uh, this is beautiful. Caramel. Yeah, it smells really nice. And like the, the alcohol isn't as dominant as on the others. No, it is. Even though all of them are 40%. <laughs> Cheers. 
Cheers. Mm. Mm. Whoa, that so is super much, smooth. That is so so much sherry oh. and raisin and fig and plum. And sweet raisin vanilla. Exactly, yeah. Now we're getting somewhere. Mm. See, aged rums are so good. That aftertaste is just That's exactly like shit. drinking honey full of uh, 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 dark fruits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, then you get some vanilla as well on the tip of your tongue right now. Oh, a little yeah. bit of spice. Like a generic spice, like, you know, it's almost autumnal spice. Like cinnamon nutmeg, those kind of things. It's so thick and smooth. Yeah, it's really. like, th the mouthfeel is, it's got a, like a, a, a almost syrupy yet very smooth mouthfeel. Yeah. Which, which is, is weird because you usually don't talk about mouthfeel and spirits. That's more in the beer world, but this is fucking good. This is great. Yeah. This is the best so far for sure. So we moved on to the next rum. And this one is the Pura. So Pura, a pirate with a Y. So I guess it's Pura. Or Pura. Pu Pura. Uh, XO Reserve Pura. Rum. So uh, as far as I can understand, this was kind of Solera like, where the oldest part of, this, of it is at least 15 years old. So it's not 100% 15 year old aged rum. Again, what is Solera? I forgot. It's a blend of different vintages of rum. Uh, and yeah, and I think it's the same in general. But we have it poured in, it's much lighter than we did, what we just had. Yeah, it's had. very light. It's like a caramel color. It looks orangey. And apparently, this is apparent, uh, like the, a very close similarity to like Tlipusik and those kind of spirits. Like Contour. Yeah. Okay. It's like, like Contour, I guess, and call me. It's supposed to be very orangey. But how can rum be similar to that? It probably depends on the barrels and whatnot they use, I guess, and like... Yeah, okay. Again, well, not an expert, but let's check out the aroma. It's it is very orange. Yeah, lemon and orange. It's serious, that's true, that's true. It's citrusy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> citrusy. Lots of lemon. It's not as spicy and sweet as the others. This smells more fresh and vibrant. It's actually nice. I've never really done this with spirits. Having a, in a flight and tasting like this, where you try and match them up against each other, because you really see the difference. Let's taste it. Whoa, so orangey. Very orangey. Whoa, that is orangey. That is like taking a dry, like for Christmas when you hang up oranges, that's like taking the peel off that and then like chewing on it almost with like the mix of caramel and toffee mm. and vanilla and oak. Yeah, I get the uh, triple sec. Uh, uh, oh, thing for sure. Yeah. It's not as complex as the other one because that had like huge layers of flavors because of the sherry barrels. This is more straight up rum and oak with like different layers of citrus flavor. Because there's maybe that's grapefruit, but it's like orange, tangerine, and lemon. Actually, quite a decent amount of lemon. So, we're ready with the final rum and a classic, I guess. The Rum Sacaba Centenario 23. And I actually have a bottle of this. It's empty, but I have had this before as well. And it's actually, it, it was emptied a few days ago because I had a little dram and I was the last sip, mm -hmm. unfortunately. But you had Rum Sacaba 23 as well, right? Yeah. Uh Actually, I only uh, had it with you. Uh, it's a rum that follows the Solera method, which means it's been a, a, bl it's been a blend of different aged uh, vintages. So it, we like it, the reason why this is called 23 is because the oldest rum that's part of this was 23 years old. Mm -hmm. And I believe the youngest parts of a Ranza Cava is 8. So it's a blend of, of vintages from 8 to 23 to make a nice, smooth blended rum. Really nice dark color. Uh, dark kind of copper caramel. Mm -hmm. Tastes good. It looks nice. Let's check out the aroma on it. Oh, yeah, that's really complex. That is like actually maybe the EXO, the sherry one, was more complex. Oh no, that was very sherry forward. But this is uh, quite was different. But what do you smell? Well, mostly caramel and vanilla. Yeah. Um, I'm like maybe some dark fruits as well uh, behind. Almost that. like a red apple, and it has that spice character, mm. like that generic autumnal spice, kind of almost cinnamony. It smells it's really nice. It's, it smells nice. Let's give it a taste. Mm. Cheers. Mm. Oh, that is really so oaky. Yeah. So oaky and like 
vanilla-y. Mm. It's got a little bit more burn and heat than the uh, ten-year-old, the yeah. uh, sherry one. But it's just like pouring down maple syrup, syrup. Yeah, oh yeah, maple syrup flavor. There's a little bit of tobacco, kind of... Oh man, now you got me hooked on that maple syrup flavor. Mm. I can definitely see that. Mm. Beautiful. Brown sugar, kind of black strap molasses. It's got a little bit of a red apple, uh, and then a little bit of dark fruit, but not as much dark fruit as the sherry. No, barely. The sherry one. Uh, that was dark fruit. That heavy. was a raisin one. Yeah, it? but I yeah. think that's also because it's sherry. Sherry is more dark fruit heavy. Yeah. Mm. This is really good. This so, is more like um, vanilla, maple syrup, and um, dark chocolate, maybe. Yeah, uh, a little bit of the autumnal spice and like mm -hmm. red apple. It's really nice. This is a cool idea because you really get to see a different like like the different spectrum of rums. So let's go through and what is we're gonna do the thumb scale because we have like that's usually what we do on this channel when we taste different uh, like do tastings like this. We do the thumb scale instead of the hundred scale because. It's kind of hard to remember when you go through this much. So we have five different rums. So I'd say, let's start off with the first one. The first one was the Ron de Jeremy. I'd say a thumbs to the side. It was like a standard rum, but with a little more of an oaky kind of character. Yeah, well for me it's a thumbs to the side as well, but it, it just tasted cheap. It's uh, not as flavorsome as the others in the box. It's kind of it's a showcase, I guess, of what a standard rum is with not too much in it. Yeah, and yeah. then we had the Kraken, Black Spice. That was way darker. Way darker, but mm. sweeter. Mm. I'm a thumbs to the side of that one as well. I mean, those two are just like, they're okay, but they're not great. That was too sweet for me. So that's uh, mm, not all the way down, but to Almost. Dos yeah. Madeiras, PX5. Uh, year old plus uh, five year old, the sherry one. That's mm -hmm. actually a two thumb up for me. That that was fucking awesome. So much sherry character in that one. I think that is my favorite of this mm -hmm. whole series. And that one was, uh, I think, yeah, 10 years old. 10 year old wrong. Yeah, I'll take a thumb and a half. Thumb and a half. This is very good. And then we if you like raisins. <laughs> if you like raisin dates, <laughs> those kind of dark fruits. And then we had the Pirat, the super orange one. And that really was super orangey. Yeah. A thumb up for me. I think it was really nice, but it had a little more character going on than the others. But if you're not a lover of lots of citrus in your rum, it's probably not going to be for you. But it's still pretty nice. Well, I like citrus, but I don't think it has anything to do with rum. Um, because it was too citrusy? Too citrusy. It's like it's trying to be contre, which yeah. it isn't. Yeah. Okay. So, um, yeah, I didn't like it. I didn't care for that much. So, um, thumbs down. Oh, basically. thumbs down. Yeah. Shit. And then the last one, Ranta Cabo. That was great. It's that good, was good, always. Yeah. I mean, not a two thumb up for me, but I'd say, like, you get one and a half mm -hmm. for the, uh, the uh, Sherry H one. So, I'm going to do the same for that one. So, one and a half. It's not, well, let's do one and then always up for number. Yeah, that's a one for me. That's nice. It's nice being able to actually um, have so taste, many different... Yeah, taste these yeah. outside with each other, which you rarely get a chance to do. Yeah, because if you go to a bar, it's going to be super expensive. And also, if you sit at home, you have to have a lot of different bottles. So. Yeah. Again, yeah, it's a cool concept, guys. So if you guys are interested in doing anything like this, uh, there's a link, as I said, down below for Flaviar that you can click on and order either a Prime membership or a box or whatnot. So uh, yeah, it was fun to do. So hopefully there will be another one of these spirit tastings up next month of another type of box. And it would be cool to do like a Isla whiskey box or something. That would be, nice. be really nice. Mm. So yeah guys, check out uh, Flaviar. Really cool concept. And let us know what do you think of rum. And do you have like a favorite of any of these rum? Remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram. And uh, we're going to say cheers. Chill and some delicious rum. And see you guys in another Alco. Right <laughs>